There's a fish, y'all. There's a good fish. Yep, there's a good one. All right, thanks for the catch, buddy. Holy crap, that's a stud. Boom. This right here, that's all yeah. good I mean, that's a slab. He's wide right that there. way. Like, how much is he that way? Yeah, the girth on him is that's impressive. Kind of nice freaking mang right there, y'all. Nice mang. Alrighty, my friends, welcome back to the Wade Fishing Experience. My name is Matt. Appreciate y'all tuning in today. Folks, we have got one of the lowest tides of the year, my friends. We are coming off the new moon, and I think we're into like negative 1.6 low tide today. Just massive. And we love that because that helps concentrate the fish in the deeper water. And from a wade fishing perspective, this is some of the, these are some of the best tides you can fish, folks. Um, and as I mentioned, it helps concentrate the fish in areas of deeper water that you wouldn't necessarily be able to access normally wade fishing because it was too deep to get there. Um, and also twofold, boats generally cannot get to the areas that I'm gonna be fishing on these super low tides. Check it out, y'all. You can see, that's the flat behind me and it's just wide open, um, no water. So these are the days we look forward to. We are on a little bit of a warming trend, had a cold, uh, weak cold front come in, I think um, two nights ago. It is gonna be nice today. It's gonna warm up to almost 80 degrees. So I hope that's going to get the fish fired up. We've got natural baits today, folks. We're gonna do some live shrimp and we've got some cut lady fish. So stay tuned, we're gonna get on them. Alrighty, my friends, I do apologize for the wind. It is cranking pretty good today, but I am also testing out uh, a new mic that I paired with my GoPro, so hopefully that will help. I am not sure how much it will help since it is very windy today, but we are looking for a mixed bag today, friends. Uh, we're gonna fish this seawall where there's some deeper water, and we're looking for sheep's head, we're looking for redfish, we're looking for black drum, we're looking for snapper, we're looking for anything that'll play. Uh, just want to get a good tug in the line and maybe get something for dinner. So that is the plan today, y'all. Let's make it happen. Alrighty, my friends. I'm just hooking these lively shrimp from Gandy Bait and Tackle on a Carolina rig with a number two aught owner live bait hook. 20 pound floral carbon and a half ounce sinker. So that's what we are working with now. There's a fish, y'all. There's a fish. Lady. Nah, that's that was a lady fish. Can't tell what he's doing. Weird, very weird. Yep, somebody got the, uh, somebody got the body of our shrimp there, y'all. Has left me the freaking head. All right, well, maybe they'll eat the head. Maybe they'll eat the head. But that was a solid bite. I think that was a sheep's head or a snapper bite. But we'll see. Here's a bite. Come on. There's a fish, y'all. There's a good fish. Yep, there's a good one. There's a good fish. Yes, sir. Let's go. What did we get into here? Maybe a sheep or a drum? Nice one, though. Definitely a nice one. Come on, folks. We need a keeper fish, right? We have been struggling lately. I hope this is not a catfish. I think it's something good, but it's a nice sheep. It's a big sheep, y'all. Big sheep, big sheep. Get the net ready, Matt. Get the net ready, Matt. Big sheep, y'all. Nice sheep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, let's go. That is a stud, y'all. That is a freaking stud. We'll get a we'll get a measure on him, y'all. But look at that guy! Holy crap, that's a stud! Boom! Other side, that's centimeters. Centimeters. Let's see. Yeah? 
about 17 and a half, maybe oh, 18. God. That's a you nice one. that we thought 20 and he's yeah. still that small. He's chunky though. Look at him, bro. No, he's, he's a thick boy. This right here, that's all yeah. a good piece of meat. I mean, that's a slab He's wide right that there. way. Like, how much is he that way? Yeah, the girth on him is that's impressive. Be, what is that right there? Measure that real quick. See what he is today. Like, from top to bottom? Yeah, because I've had ones that are usually around, like, three, four, but, like, that guy's definitely got to be, Let's like, go from the base of his. Oh, yeah, I mean, he's six inches. Yeah. <laughs> that's a meaty boy right there. Right on, brother. All righty, my friend. There is our stud sheep's head, 17 and a half inches. He probably goes three and a half, maybe four pounds. So we'll get him bled out and on ice. All right, y'all. Well, that was freaking awesome. That was uh, a really, really nice sheep. So let's see if we can do that again. There's one. Yes, sir. Let's go. That's another one. Oh, that's a trout. That's a nice trout, y'all. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go. Nice trout. Nice trout. Nice trout. Oh, yeah. Come here, boss. Let's go. Yes, sir. That's a nice one, y'all. That's a nice one. Easy, boss. Easy, boss. All right. This one... Uh, he's close, but we're not going to measure him since we got that fat sheep in there. If we get a bigger one than this, we'll keep him. But uh, let's get him unhooked. All right. Thanks for the catch, buddy. Oh, what was that? Daggummit, y'all. What happened there? Something was on it. Yep, something ate half of it. Dang it! That was a sheep. Yep, got him. Oh, lost him. Son of a gun, y'all. it. We had that one. Perfect. Perfect. Come on, man. This wind is just brutal. Making it really hard to feel the bite, y'all. I mean, it is tough right now. Come on. Yep, big one. Big one, y'all. Big one. Big, big, big. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, it's a massive snapper. Big snapper, y'all. There's some good dinner. Look at that bad boy. Yes, sir. Let's go. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. So both the one... Oh, sorry. No, you're good. All right, y'all. Nice snapper there. I haven't caught a keeper mang in so long. That is about 13, eh, 12 and a half, 13 inches right there. So he's going to go in the box with our sheep's head. Let's get another look at this guy. Nice freaking mang right there, y'all. Nice mang. There's one. There's a fish, y'all. Good one. Good one. Decent one. Decent one. Decent sheep. Decent sheep. All right. There's one, y'all. That'll keep. That'll keep. That'll keep. All righty, my friends. There is another keeper sheeper. We'll get a measure on him, but he's probably about 13-ish. Let's see what he let's see what he tapes out at. Yep, he's right about 13. So another good keeper for the cooler, y'all. Let's go. We are doing well today. This is much needed. The fishing has been tough, y'all. Alrighty, my friends, that's gonna do it for this episode. Appreciate y'all tuning in. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe before you leave. My friends, it just got too windy out there. Uh, I was blowing 20 plus and just really hard to find a feel a bite, really hard to, um, you know, even just keep an eye on your line because the wind is just blowing you everywhere. But man, we had a good day. Um, it's nice to get on some keepers, a couple keeper sheep's head. That 17 and a half incher, that's my biggest one in a while. I think I did catch an 18 incher earlier in the season. But um, really nice to get on those. And then that Keeper Mangrove, man, that was just an added bonus. That thing was a tank. So looking good. Cooler's looking good. Um, yeah, nice to get some fresh fillets today. But uh, the live shrimp did the trick. We actually were chunking the shrimp up towards the end when we caught those mangroves and that last sheep's head as we were running low. But it definitely didn't seem to matter. Um, I think they would have pretty much hit anything today. They were fired up. Um, and I do think it will, it's because we are warming today. It's, it's 75 degrees today. It's been cold. And, um, you know, some of the best days can be some of the windiest. 
and it was really truly rough out there y'all uh we had a couple kayakers come in and try to fish that seawall and they couldn't fish it because it was too windy so that'll tell you how rough it was out there but that's going to do it for today we will see you next time on the wade fishing experience cheers y'all